I've said this many times, and I'll say it again. Most women do not like most men. You have women who are in relationships right now, and they are posting video after video on social media, criticizing, shaming, just infuriated by their partners. There's a video of a woman who is complaining about her husband and the fact that he'll never have to experience the hardships that she passes through being a mother and how basically, you know, dumb this guy is as he's building a deck, building a deck to their house and spending time with his daughter. As the woman looks on and criticizes him. Do you understand in modern society just how few men have the skill sets to build a damn deck? And she detests this man. There are videos right now of women who are furious and complaining on social media because they cannot stand watching their husbands sleep. And they say, you know, they, they don't have, their husbands don't have any problem when they sleep. But for some reason, they can't stand seeing their husband sleep. And they don't know what it is, but they just can't stand watching their husband sleep. And the reason is because they need to see the man constantly working, providing for them being the ATM, giving them attention, giving them time, giving them money. If a man is sleeping, then he's not working for them. And if the man is not, and even if the man is working for them, he's still not working hard enough. When I say that they don't like us, they do not like us. A few years ago, I think it was a few years ago, there was a nurse practitioner who made a video criticizing what was her uh, an actress from Stranger Things, Natalie Dreyer or Natalia, and. She basically started talking about all the different procedures that she would do for Natalie. She's a she's a anesthetic or she basically she's she basically adjusts the appearance of people. So she does like plastic surgery, like Botox and all this other garbage. And she started talking about all the different procedures that she would do on Natalie to make her look better. And she would basically fill in her lips and fill in her cheeks and and mess around with her chin and her and her forehead. And by the time she was done, this woman looked like a completely different person. She had lost all of the distinct features that make her attractive. And this was what the nurse practitioner did. And this is like a this is a jet this is a millennial who did this, a younger millennial. And this is just the reality that we now live in. Okay? Because it's only going to get worse from here with Gen Z. Well guess what? She's back with another video. You see, she likes to be in the streets. I told you already that it is from the streets that they came and it is to the streets that they shall return. So she was able to find someone who would basically marry her. So she's now engaged, but she's pissed off with her fiance. You want to know why she's pissed off with her fiance? Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Oh, I'm smoked. I'm smoked. I'm smoked from behind you. Behind you, Matt. Oh. So if you guys haven't been able to read it, it says, point of view, instead of your fiance going to the bars on a Friday night, this is what he does with his friends. Going to the bars on a Friday night? Why would you want to go out to the bars if you're in a relationship with a woman? See, guys. What she wants is either she wants to go out and hang out at the bars with him, or she wants him to leave the house, go out with his friends so that she can go out with her friends and have fun. She wants to go right back to the streets because it is from the streets that they came. It is the streets that they came and it is to the streets that they shall return. The fact that he's at home and he's with his friends at home, it creates a problem for her because now it looks problematic when she's like, oh, I'm going to be out with my girlfriends. You're out with your friends. I'm out with my friends. Okay? 
guys, this poor bastard, he's not the man that she loves. He's her plan B guy. He's her plan B guy. The plan A guy is the Chad, the Tyrone, the Ray Ray, the Pookie, the Enrique, the little Poncho. She she loves little Poncho. She loves little Poncho. But if the if this if this bloke is home all the time, then little Poncho can't slide in. Little Poncho can't come in, come and go as he pleases. Because this guy doesn't know when to F off. You know, F off, mate, F off. Little Poncho needs to come around. He needs to slide in, you know? He wants to get in that nice bed. Little Poncho misses that bed. He wants to hop in bed, get a little bit of sleep, you know? You know, eat his tacos, drink his tequila, okay? Kick up his heel as mommy is giving him a big kisses, gentle kisses, you know? And he's there laying in your bed, in your robe, and not wearing anything else. And he's there just happy and enjoying himself. His fat little belly is so plump, you know, and he's enjoying himself. And if, if, a, if a fart slips, it's okay because she still loves him anyway. Granted, when you fart, when you fart, she's like, she's, she gets furious. Like, why didn't you go to the bathroom and do that? Your farts really stink. You're gross. When little Poncho does it, she giggles. She giggles and gives him another kiss. Because she loves little Poncho. She loves little Poncho. James. <laughs> James, where are you? <laughs> okay. 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 I don't know. Boom! Pay attention. I like your part of the crew here. Look at her. Look at her. Like this, guys, why would you want to be in a relationship with someone who despises you this much? For not being out in the streets, so that she could be out in the streets. This is not a relate. This is not a marriage, guys. This is not a relationship. All right. It's an arrangement. It's an arrangement, and it's 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 sad. But this is the reality that we live in right now. And if you have someone that's this age, like she's not this like guys, she's pretty cute. Like she's actually pretty cute. If you watch, if you check out her her TikTok, you know she does. She's like she's all into this cosmetic stuff now why would someone who looks like her that's literally out here trying to doll up celebrities trying to look like a celebrity herself be in a relationship with some normal dude with some basic and the answer is simple money for she's a nurse practitioner the guy that she's with he very well may be a doctor doctor engineer lawyer and I've had these doctors pop up in my comments before saying that instead of being out in the streets, they're playing video games at home. Guys, these women are, why would you be in a relationship with these kinds of women? Like, you're gonna, guys, you're going to see it. You're just going to see it. All of these men just going over, if they want a woman, they're going to go overseas and they're not going to marry either. They're not going to marry either. Like these women in America, these women in Western society, America, Canada, predominantly white speak, um, Western white speaking, you know, predominantly white Western speaking countries, these women don't deserve these men. They don't like these men. They don't want these men, but they need these men to provide for them. All right? So that's the only reason why they're marrying these men. I've said this countless times. I'll say it. I said it once, and I'll say it again. The guy who is at least six feet tall, the guy who has a six pack, the guy that can give her six inches, the guy who makes a million dollars a year, the guy who has influence, the guy who has all of these different traits, okay, that so-called high value man, that's the plan B guy. That's not the plan A guy. That's not the plan S guy. The plan A guys are like the very, very wealthy guys like Andrew and Tristan or the or billionaires like Mark Cuban or Shaquille O'Neal. Those are the plan. Those are plan A guys. Guys with extraordinary amounts of wealth, extraordinary amounts of influence, extraordinary physical features like LeBron James. Those are plan A guys. You're like LeBron James. 
angry. And of course, these people overlap. But even LeBron James is a plan A guy. The men that they actually love are the Chads and the Tyrones. Chad and Tyrone. Chad and Tyrone, they get everything for free. Chad and Tyrone, they don't have to have money. These women will take money from another man and spend that money on them. That's the reality that we actually live in. It's an unfortunate reality, but it's a reality that a lot of men just don't want to accept. By the way, guys, I have another channel called Angry where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, and whatever else interests me. If you're into that stuff, head over to that channel. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Support my work. I also have another channel called Men Walking Away. If you're enjoying the content on this channel and you want even more angry guy content, more content like this that you're watching right now, head over to the Men Walking Away channel. There's a link to that channel in the description of the video. Subscribe to the channel. Support my work. Enjoy the content. I release ch videos on that channel every single day as well. Guys, what do you think? Women want men arrested for playing video games. They don't want us playing games. They don't even want us. They don't even want us on planet Earth. I've told you that. Like women are furious that God is a man, that God is masculine. The next big step for women, and they're already working on it, is to make is to make God remake God in their own image. Like this is a we're this is we're in some really very bad times, but I'll tell you right now, there's only one God. There's only one God. And if they think that they are greater than God, and if they think that they're going to try to remake God in their own image and call that God, yeah, good luck to them. Good luck to them. You're absolutely, these people are delusional beyond delusion. What do you guys think about everything we discussed here today? I want to hear your thoughts. Let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.